Shalom family, God bless you. I welcome you to this encounter in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, take steps. No matter how small they are, take steps. In fact, as you receive this word, immediately you receive this word, just begin to take steps. No matter how small they are, take steps. Why? Because God will amplify your steps and give you abundance. If you do nothing, then nothing gets done. Nothing will happen. Nothing will change. The Lord says, take steps and he will amplify them and give you abundance. A prophetic word is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 3 to 8. I'm going to read for us. The scripture says, now there were four men with leprosy at the entrance of the city gate. They said to each other, Why stay here until we die? If we say, We will go into the city, the famine is there, and we will die. And if we stay here, we will die. So let us go over to the camp of the Arameans and surrender. If they spare us, we will leave. If they kill us, then we die. At dusk, they got up and went to the camp of the Arameans. When they reached the edge of the camp, not a man was there, for the Lord had caused the Arameans to hear the sound of chariots and horses and a great army, so that they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired the Hittite and Egyptian kings to attack us. So they got up and fled into the dusk and abandoned their tents and their horses and donkeys. They left the camp as it was and ran for their lives. The men who had leprosy reached the edge of the camp and entered one of the tents. They ate and drank and carried away silver gold and cloths and went off and hit them they returned and entered another tent and took some things from it and hid them also the scripture we just read tells us about four lepers whom god amplified their steps there was a very severe famine in the land of Israel. The famine was so severe that from the palace to the servants, everyone was affected. And then the scripture further tells us that there were four lepers, four men who had leprosy, who were living out of the city gate because they had leprosy. They were not permitted to live among people. So they were sent out of the city and they now lived out of the city gate. They too were suffering because of the famine and they woke up one day and told themselves, we can go back into the city, but then if we go there, we are going to die because of how severe the famine is. There is no food to eat. And they said, if we stay here, we are going to die also because we do not have what to eat. So they decided that they were going to march towards the camp of their enemy and surrender. And the scripture tells us that they made up their minds. They said, if we go there and surrender and they choose to kill us and then we die but if they choose to hold us captive then we are certain that they are going to give us something to eat so these four lepers set out for the camp of their enemy and before they got there they realized that the camp had been abandoned and everything that was in it was still there the army had fled but they took nothing with them and the scripture explained to us why they had fled. The scripture says that the Lord caused the army of the Hittites to hear the sound of chariots and a vast army approaching. So they said to themselves, the king of Israel has gone to seek help from the Egyptians to come and attack us. So they fled. This was four lepers because they decided to take action, because they decided to take a step. 
step, even though it was a risky step, the Lord amplified their efforts and gave them abundance. Verse 8 says they had enough to eat and drink and carried enough for themselves to go and hide. They carried silver, they carried gold, they carried enough for themselves. There was enough there, but these lepers would have died of hunger. They would have died of starvation if they never took a step. God says, take steps. It doesn't matter how small your steps are. Take steps. The assurance is as you set out, God is going to amplify your steps and give you abundance. God will amplify your steps and give you abundance. If you do nothing, nothing changes. If you do nothing, nothing happens. Until you make a move, nothing will change in your life. God says, take steps and he will amplify them. He will multiply them and give you abundance. Hope you receive the word with gladness. The Lord bless you as you obey in the name of Jesus. Please like and share the video before you go and subscribe if you're joining us new. I will see you in our next session. Shalom.